In this video, we will explore the groundbreaking new technology developed by researchers at Carnegie Mellon University and the University of Waterloo that allows them to see through walls using Wi-Fi signals. First, we'll discuss the work done by the team at Carnegie Mellon. They used a system called Dense Pose, which maps all of the pixels on the surface of a human body in a photo, to create a deep neural network that maps Wi-Fi signals phase and amplitude to coordinates on human bodies. Essentially, this means that by sending a low-powered Wi-Fi signal through a wall, the system can detect all objects in the room, cancel out the static objects, and use the reflection of moving objects to generate a radar-like image. This technology can work through standard drywall, wooden fences, and even concrete walls, though the range and accuracy depend on the type of wall. The researchers at Carnegie Mellon believe that Wi-Fi signals can serve as a ubiquitous substitute for normal RGB cameras when it comes to sensing people in a room. Using Wi-Fi overcomes obstacles like poor lighting and occlusion that regular camera lenses face. They also argue that this technology offers an improvement in privacy rights as it does not rely on cameras, and the required equipment can be bought at a reasonable price. Most households in developed countries already have Wi-Fi at home, and this technology may be used to monitor the well-being of older people or identify suspicious behaviors at home. Next, we'll discuss the work done by the team at the University of Waterloo. They developed a drone-powered device called YP that can see through walls using Wi-Fi networks. The device can fly close to a building and utilize the Wi-Fi network of the inhabitants to identify and locate any Wi-Fi-enabled devices within the building. Even if a network is password-protected, smart devices will automatically respond to contact attempts from any device within range. The y -peep sends several messages to a device as it flies and then measures the response time on each, enabling it to identify the device's location within a meter. What makes the y -peep particularly noteworthy is its accessibility and ease of transportation. The team built the device using a store-bought drone and $20 of easily purchased hardware. This means that anyone with the right expertise could easily create a similar device. The potential uses for this technology are vast, from law enforcement storming a building to firefighters looking for people in a burning building to search and rescue operations. However, the privacy implications are also significant, and it is important to consider the potential consequences if the technology were to be used for more sinister purposes. In conclusion, the researchers at Carnegie Mellon University and the University of Waterloo have made significant strides in developing technology that allows us to see through walls using Wi-Fi signals. While this technology has many potential uses, it is important to consider the privacy implications and ensure that it is used ethically. Thank you for watching.